Amy, in regard to number three, the authorized county manager to enter into agreement, so is this just um, authorizing the data resolution to authorize the county manager? Should in a municipality want to do a shared service agreement, or are there a number of communities associated with this agreement? What we typically do is we offer the services of our print shop to municipalities as a shared service. We charge them what it costs us to produce whatever the item is that they want to have produced in the print shop. So we do an MOU that we have to send down to the state as, as we have to do with shared service agreements. And it usually runs for the five-year term of the print shop. So we just signed a new term with Xerox to operate the print shop. So this is a new round of MOUs. We've been doing it every five years for the last, this would be the third time I've been through it. Okay, so this isn't in relation to one particular municipality. No. This is effectively the authorization to enter into those memorandums of understanding. Right, so county council will draft them, send them to every municipality. They just have to sign them. It's no dollar amount is attached to them. It's just authorizing the use or lack of use. They don't have to do it. There's no obligation for them to, but should they ever want to utilize the service, they can because the MOU is in place. In, in the last go round, how many uh, communities took advantage of it? They all do, but in varying degrees. Some use it extensively. Some only use it to um, their ballots for elections. That's all they print. But we started out, when I first started kind of marketing the service, um, we had just a couple here and there, and they weren't really using it too extensively. Now, we do uh, like over $100,000 a year in shared service business, where it was maybe $5,000 when we first started talking about it. So. Um, we upgraded the equipment, so it's all professional, digital quality equipment now, so we can do anything that they could get out of the open market, but it could potentially save them money. We always suggest go out, get a price from a private printer, and then look at what we have to offer, and if it makes sense to you, then use it. Otherwise, there's no obligation to do so. Thank you, Director. Can I your clock? Okay, also on number three, so it's for the printing and also the sign shop. Also the sign shop, yes. And Internal, interior and exterior signs. So they can do their road signs. They have, uh, Joe's operation has all the equipment to do any road signs they would need, but they also do interior signs for, and lettering for doors and pretty much anything you can imagine they can do. They're really quite talented. And, and I think that also in most cases we do our French shop offers quite a bit for In most cases, I've heard from municipalities that they're glad to have the shared service. The only thing we aren't real great at being able to do is bulk mailing just because of the way it has to get to um, the post office. So sometimes a uh, mailing house can do a better job of it just because they have all the routes pre separated. And like that. But other than that, there's been very little that I've seen that we couldn't do and do it here. Yes, Yes. Um, this has to go back to January 1st. Were there any, you said that we just recently signed the new contract. What were there any changes? Were the rates different? Was it the same? They reevaluate them every year. I honestly haven't seen the most recent rates. I The contract, I was a part of the um, negotiations of the contract, and actually it went down, our click count went down. So I don't think they'll see much, if any, increase. I don't know what the paper costs are now. But Vinny, who works for Joe Graziano, is meticulous about figuring out to the nth detail what the cost is and only passing along our cost. Not, we're not trying to make money off of any municipality, which is why we come in less. Thank you. Any other questions? Just one. Yes. Um, you do you also do the large banners, et cetera? We do. Concerts? So in the sign shop, they can do banners, they can do H state signs, um, really almost anything. Uh, we're working on a project of, through one of the chairman's initiatives to do pole banners that you'll see later in the summer. And I just ran into Chris Paparella, who does the sign shop, and he was so excited. He's like, Amy, I got the banner material. We could do your, you know, your banners for hanging from the poles. So we're excited to see that that happens. They like a new challenge. They're always excited to try something new. So thank you. Thank you very much to the county manager. A two-part question. Uh, first, is there a price list anywhere? Is anything just 
set price to be holders or whatever, or is it just as they come in, somebody will decide? And the other part says, uh, contract with zero, Xerox Capital Services LLC. Are these the people who actually do the print, printing work? Uh, like, is, when you get a job, does it go to these Xerox people, or what is their role in this? Or if it's contracted, why wouldn't the municipalities go right to Xerox Capital Services? Just if they are the ones who will work. And the, uh, for the first part of part two, yes, there's a set price list by the county, and for the second portion, Director Garza and the county manager. Officer, you the agreement that we have with Xerox, we lease the machines, and we also have one person that works for Xerox that operates in our facility. We also have our own staff, the supplement. 